chugga chugga choo choo What's up guys? AK Crazy Russian with DCC train LLC Mall Train Store in Cincinnati, Ohio. How are ya? We are continuing kind of learning about new scale trains model. As in the previous video, I suggest you guys read the manual and and uh, you will find a lot of uh, helpful help help full stuff for you uh, I need to go to one uh, quick channel right now because I'm broadcasting on on multiple channels okay so I know I can I just need to change one thing and we'll come back real quick because I'm uh, streaming on twitch which is allow me allow me to stream in um, electronic session all right uh, who don't know me uh, you guys can check me out at uh, DCC train uh, it's our YouTube channel the one, one only one thing I need to do just uh, change the name save changes and a couple of things save changes here as well so we, we good to go um, I don't want to play anything on uh, Twitch so it won't um, destroy the stream. No, I'm on fiber optic, just uh, YouTube lately you, you saw um, it's kind of messing around. So uh, I have a phone here to check messages on live stream, right? Just going to check it real quick and that's my live stream yes and it's working perfect all right so i have a chat open right here on dcc train live channel okay at the same time i'm broadcasting on dcc train channel okay and a twitch um getting getting some uh, oh sorry about that <laughs> getting some messages and also uh, the batteries <laughs> kind of low not big deal because I did a, a, a stream before so it will be two parts guys uh, pretty much uh, we'll do right now we'll test um, pardon me we'll test the um, the model here oh, what's the worrying uh. Okay. Um, and we we test uh, sound uh, and DCC ready locomotive at this point here. All right. And on uh, second part, it will starting probably in half an hour. Don't go far away. <laughs> we'll I'll uh, show you how I'm installing actually. Uh, decoder I will open the engine uh, that that particular engine it's only DC for DC operation chassis beautiful model uh, of SD40 and we'll put non sound decoder okay I have it here someplace yes but that's what we're going to do all right so let me go to that broadcast so I can see check your question on main channel because it's I have like 10 times more subscribers on that and we'll start in literally real quick uh, view ch oh I know I know I know I know live streaming yeah Res re uh, what's the name restream that I Restream.io, it's pretty much cool service. They, they send me something uh, about the bandwidth or whatever, which is, I guess, is, is okay. Um, oh, yeah, I know what to do. I know what to do. We need to change the picture too. 
picture of the stream because it may be going to confuse that's what that's what um, mm -hmm. Just in just a second, takes a second, not B. Oh, browse, and we we'll should be good. Desktop, uh, thumbnail. Oh, file to big. It's okay. Um, usually, um, YouTube is like catching the first um, picture from the streaming, but again, it's not a big deal. Um, we'll see somebody maybe arrive at that point and we'll just start right away. <clears throat> Excuse me. Events, I see. I see, I see. Yeah. So um, I know you guys um, got those models and a um, bunch of questions. I got like phone phone call from our good customer uh, and he was a little bit confusing about the lock pilot. That's what we're going to do in the second part. It will be pretty much the same, but I will do instant means. It will be plug and play, but I'll show you everything, okay? What's going on with it and um, all right so that that will be clear uh, then you can definitely I, I, I think I'm, I, I did like first presentation first two presentation on, on opening uh, it, it wasn't any any questions or whatever right so it it's pretty much clear what's going on with it events I just want to see one thing here and we're going to continue yes very nice so cool just need to get to the questions if i can to the chat all right uh -huh. john hello hello uh twitch is cool we good to go all right i'm not gonna stream it here i just put on the um, Pause. All right. So, again, bunch of uh, questions about functionality of the decoders, and uh, actually, I can I can probably talk about it right now. That's that's the decoder we're going to use. That's twenty one pin. I already showed it before. Twenty one pin. Um, ESU okay so it says here it's not really my glasses it's only for like special installation or, or uh, like really it it's it's very tiny um, very tiny so it says function outputs four powered outputs with overload protection okay I'm not gonna comment on this right now. You will uh, you will watch the presentation and the second part, okay? And you you will figure out, all right? So that select install in this locomotive ready with this I means not ready DCC and sound, all right? So now I just need more space. <laughs> just put the color here. Right. Okay. Cool. Uh, who is first time here? Uh, this is um, most advanced. I should say after Zemo digital system uh, from ESU name Ecos. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know what's still what's going on with the lens. Um, Hey, Sparky, my man. Hey, hey. Cool. Um, it's my personal opinion. I, I'm, I'm dealing with, with Zemo, and, and, and it's 
very advanced. I like advanced stuff. I, I like to learn a lot of stuff and mess. Sometimes it's getting overwhelmed, you know. <laughs> but uh, yes, so anyway. I think we could ha we have good uh, good uh, amount of viewers. Hey, yeah, my man Sparky, yo. <laughs> All right, so I have another chat on uh, DCC Train Live channel. I'm not surprising; it's not not lots, of that, but but I'm streaming for two channels. All right, let's go. So there is a um, feature of the. Hey, Albany, New York. Ho oh, ho. Uh, feature of those decoders, uh, Railcom. It's an NMRA uh, uh, standard. Um, that's what uh, ESU, Zemo, Lens, Masuth, couple of other not very well known uh, European manufacturer in the US are using it, okay? And the major thing, uh, of course, Rocco, but I'm showing it with, with that. The display is so nice, you will see the difference and learn it real quick. So, as soon as it's on stop, so engine connected, guys, please, I cannot, if you're asking about those stands, the, this is history. There is alternative made in China, but I, I, I'm not sure. Um, how they go to this is old STP I think company STP yes Martin bought them and Martin in trouble still <laughs> so let's go as soon as I press this button oh I already pressed the button and the in and the system got the signal from from the decoder all right and and it's gives me all these parameters here so I, I want to get rid of it so we'll start experimenting from scratch so I'm deleting in the setup too I'm deleting all my detected logos including M4 that's for Motorola marketing protocol okay because they were worked together a lot and Marklin just went uh, their own way I don't know what's going on with, with marketing so it, in stop as soon as I power this you will see the reason because it will be very small um, small like small flag symbol of um, getting information from the decoder okay and then you will see what's going on okay guys ready one thing I want to check before we are going crazy on this ah, I see okay gotcha <laughs> um, Okay, ready? Watch. Watch here. Takes a second. Sending information to the engine right now. Hear that? Immediately this. I have the entire family upstairs like messing around, so sorry. <laughs> Live presentation from home <coughs> basement. DCC okay that means uh, the railcom parameters loaded to the system and I'm just selecting I can select on on this or that panel but I'm selecting here that's fine so that's what I got before now here is um, mobile 2 okay it's already connected I have different videos how to connect it how to operate and everything and uh, that guy has uh, let's make sure I'm uh, guiding you guys through good yes so that that mobile too it just shows me exactly what's going on here to control okay from the model I need to clean the controller just like uh, really a release controller okay but that's just a small uh, tip all right, we're going back uh, to the actually my locomotives here. So, okay, same um, information from Railcom uh, showing in this mobile uh, unit. All right, but that that's not what we 
focusing right now. We're focusing on functions press. Okay, I think you guys talking between you between each other, right? Brass. What's brass? Are you asking me, uh, Sparky, my man? I'm not sure. All right. So cool. Um, I'm going to turn the lights off here real quick. All right. And now, in my previous video, it, it, uh, that screen n we don't need that screen really much. Uh, we need a f focusing on those functions, okay? So on my previous video, we determined we need like five functions at least, all right? In this NS model, the alternating, uh, the ditch light is ditch lights in alternating, and thank you guys helped me to uh, figure out those uh, other functions and lights. So when I'm pressing um, sound and F button, okay? You will see LED, LED, and and you will see number boards pop up and sound started. Watch. We just wait till it's finished starting procedure. Starting like as a charm man. <laughs> okay. Good. Now, I'm turning the headlights and they directional. For this, turn turn them on. And if I changing directions, I can do it here, okay? They, they turn it back, believe me. Yeah, see my... No, you are not see, but okay. oh, it's okay. Trust me on this. <laughs> and I'm changing direction again. So that's already two functions. So we have already three individual functions to operate that thing, okay? Number boards. They not directional, they just turn on and it's mapped to function 8. Make sense? Now I'm turning the ditch lights is here, symbol right there and it shows you also. Sorry, it's maybe not good, but uh, believe me, it's like small engine lo uh, logo and like ditch lights. One of them turn on, okay? Now because they alternating, there they are two functions again, another. So we have five already. That makes sense. Okay. So make sure we clear on that. Very simple, guys. I'm not like overwhelming or anything. Now I'm blowing the horn with function, with um, uh, function two, right, right there. Watch the lights, uh, ditch lights. They alternating. So total of five, five functions. Longer I'm holding, uh, longer it plays. Okay, and we just run it, see how balance is, is good balance. Uh, I think I can can turn the lights right now. So. We'll probably run more uh, with Rob at the store. It, it will be more fun. And he will explain all. He definitely knowledgeable guy. Oh, wow. Aha, uh -huh. how popular is this system? It's very popular, man. Uh, because it's, it's it has a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of stuff. Uh, if you need a lot of uh, feedback, real calm, 
and like massive layout that the boosters are very good so it, it, it will give you a lot of good stuff man it's pricey too but oh well I see that system use a lot of in the UK yeah because it's German manufacturer they they very popular in Europe I have a lot of customers here who bought them from us okay who, who bought the system from us okay um, let me check a couple of things so we are still doing good that pretty much it guys that's that's the idea I'm turning it down with the function f8 see that function on the 6 nothing wired to that engine I look around <laughs> But it's uh, it's there. Okay, we'll do next test. You will see what's going on. Okay, I'm just shutting it down, and we're pretty much uh, wrapping it up. If you have more details questions, guys, write them. In about I don't know, the video will be processed in about half an hour, maybe hour. I don't know. And um, uh, I'll try if if I need we need another video, I'll do it. So, but. That's out of the box scale uh, SD uh, 40 2 uh, scale trains. All right? With ESU uh, sound decoder. Now, I need to prepare that chassis guy. I I'm going to open it because I don't want to waste your time, guys. Um, I don't want to waste your time. We'll just, um, I'll install it and we'll test it right away, okay? Hi mate, you said chips is small, small enough for N-Scale? Oh, yeah, yes, you has uh, N-Scale um, decoders, absolutely, sir, sound decoders. Uh, size exactly fitting any, um, that, any of that type of locomotive inside, but I, I have personal opinion uh, I, I don't like in scale sound in the locomotive I have uh, my own system I'm putting in the box cars man and it's with special technology connectors so it, it will be um, much much um, better sound okay so we'll wrap it up right now Vovo Vovo Chivo Zahreen <laughs> Здорово! <laughs> во -во -во -во. <laughs> Давай жми, у меня русский канал теперь на русском. Там, там вся хрень. Okay, guys, sometimes I have, uh, because that channel was originally, uh, I put some uh, Russian stuff on it. It's only for, for model trains right now, okay? So, let me um, wrap that thing up. Ah, Malatok, Bratan, Sonishtiak, Tagda. And uh, give me a few times. Oh, Australia. I'm going to Australia to Mel Mel Melbourne, guys, with my full time job. Not this, I have full time job. <laughs> Obviously, to support all that stuff. <laughs> and uh, uh, end of the year, so. I like I like Sydney and I like the I spent like a day one day at the station like recording all engines coming back and forth that's cool oh yeah all right guys so uh, let's not um... oh yeah okay good to know sir uh, per, pardon maybe my pronunciation won't be uh, correct a delayed a delete is better okay good to know I'll try to squeeze some time for for the, for the trip um, thanks for coming all right um, come back very soon same thing broadcast on both channels okay don't go uh, anywhere too far <laughs> all right guys so cool chaga chaga choo choo